Welcome to the course. We are going to learn about how to create an acceptable use policy for your schools. My name is Javier Ramos. I'm an English teacher at primary school. I'm also the author of this course and I will be here to help you along it. Sometimes ICT knocks at the door of your classroom and it clears everything out except the fear many parents and educators can feel. They fear the dangers that the uncensored internet might hold for their children, like inappropriate content and people who pose an online threat. One strategy that many schools use to diffuse such dangers is a Student Acceptable Use Policy, or AUP, for the use of technology in the schools. We will work on the responsible use of technology in the classroom from the point of view of the school. In our case, as educators, the use of technology in our organization should be consistent with the educational mission, curriculum and instructional goals. Along this course, we are going to work on what an acceptable use policy is, what the essentials for this policy are, and how to create an AUP for our school. An acceptable use policy is a document that outlines a set of rules to be followed by the people in the school who are using the computing resources, the network, websites, or large computer systems. An AUP clearly states what the user is and is not allowed to do when they are working with the school resources. Many AUPs make students aware of basic internet safety rules before they are allowed to serve independently. In order to create the AUP, we are going to offer you some guidelines about the different parts we think are important to be included. Preamble, glossary, a policy statement, an acceptable use chapter, and an acceptable use chapter, a violation sanctions chapter, consent and acceptance form for parents and students. Policies should be designed and known by the whole school community. We recommend you to do it this way. It should be read and known by your leading group, a teacher and deputy teacher. Consult in a whole school staff meeting and include all the teachers' feedback into the policy. Explain it during parents' meeting and the beginning of the school year. Work it with your students during form time. And then ask all form teachers, parents, students to sign the document. By accomplishing the activities within this course, you will be working on the safety area of the Common Digital Competence Framework for Teachers. It will help you achieve level C1 of Competence 4.2 protecting personal data and privacy, as well as level B1 of competence 2.5 and etiquette. We hope that with all this information and the tags and activities we have designed for you, you are ready to draft the acceptable use policy for your school. Join us!